All right, so we're back to comparing. Uh, now that we have all of the, the panels off the 420 and the, the 318, we're going to compare the two machines, drivetrains, stuff like that. Uh, first large difference, aside from the, the three hydraulic spools versus the um, one hydraulic or the two hydraulic spools and the 318, is how the decks are driven. 420s, 430s had a shaft driven deck, meanwhile, the 300 series were all still belt driven. Uh, the way that ran is if you look at this front clutch on the PT or on the, uh, the the power takeoff on the own end in the 318, you see that the belt comes up, it goes down through a mule drive, the mule drive then runs back to the deck. Uh, in this particular case, there's just a single belt that runs all the way back to the deck. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk forward here, try not to fall over backwards, and we're going to compare the 420. Now the 420, uh, you see, has a little bit different arrangement. The 420 had a shaft driven deck. Uh, and so now, oddly enough, that shaft is still belt driven, but there is no mule drive. So what happens is there's two belts. So the pulleys, there's a double pulley on front of the, of the 420. That double pulley has a tensioner system. That tensioner, there's two different types of tensioner systems, an early system and a late system. This is the later system that drives a big uh, shaft or a big pulley and the shaft down there in the front part of the tractor. And that shaft goes all the way through the axle um, and it comes out underneath the machine. And so if you want to see that, we're just going to come back here and let me get my screen out so I can actually see what, what's happening in there. And so you see the shaft come out in the back part of the axle right there. And that is where the deck connects. <clears throat> so there's still a belt drive on the 420-430, but that belt drive it goes to a shaft. Because obviously it would be very difficult to get a, uh, a mule drive in the front of this machine. So that's just a couple of the differences there. The next difference is the engine that I want to talk about. Uh, and um, the reason I'm talking about this is because a lot of times uh, people will take and they'll interchange uh, Onan parts. So the 420s came with the B48G, 48 cubic inches, 20 horsepower uh, points type of ignition originally. They later, in 1987, transitioned to the P220. Once again, 48 cubic inches, electronic ignition. There's not all that much difference between, aside for some valve differences, things like that, there's not all that many differences in the overall design between the B48 and the B, or the P220. Now, what's interesting is the 318 originally came with the B43G, which was 43 cubic inches, produced 18 horsepower. Later, in 1987, the P218 came out um, in the 318, 18 horsepower, 48 cubic inches. The difference between the P220 and the P218 is the two horsepower. The way that the two hor you get the two horsepower is mostly through the camshaft and the carburetor. The valves open longer, more fuel can go in to the P220. P218, the, the camshaft has shorter lobes, the valves are not open as wide or as long, and the carburetor puts less gas into uh, the engine. Now, one of the things that you can do, one of these machines are, are known, a lot of times that guys will, or folks will take, and they will say, well, I've got uh, carb problems on my tractor, and so I'm gonna go to eBay, and I'm gonna buy a clean carb, because I can't get it to work. When in fact, the carbs are actually incredibly simple to work on. Uh, I have not run across an absolutely worn out carburetor yet. Uh, you can get the rebuild part still, certainly no trouble there. But one of the things, if you're looking at a 420, that I would encourage you to do is take the top off the air filter and look in and look at the number on the opening of the carburetor. And I'm gonna do that on the 420 and I'll set the camera up and I'll show you what I mean. So we're gonna open up the air filter and we're gonna stare in and I'll show you what I'm looking at. All right, so I have the air cleaner off. now. One really good way to tell if the carburetor has been replaced. Um, 
because a lot of times sellers on eBay and Facebook and other sales sites, they will say, well, a carburetor fits a 318, a 316 Onan, a 420, um, et cetera, et cetera. And they'll list off a whole bunch of machines when in fact a carburetor, a P220 carburetor fits a P220. A P218 carburetor fits a P218. Because if you think about it, think about those cubic inches, think about the horsepower requirements, etc. To make horsepower, you need fuel, you need air, you need spark. Obviously, 20 horsepower, you need more air and you need more fuel. So I've already talked about the fact that the, the carburetor is different, but one really good way to tell is if you take the air filter off and you look in, I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to try to zoom in. I'm going to turn the flashlight on. And what I want you to see, you see that number at the top there? Number it says 238. Hopefully you can see that. 238 right there on top of the barrel of the carburetor. That is the venturi of the carburetor and it is a has a larger opening than that's so that number is 238 and that's the, that's the correct carburetor for a 20 horsepower Onan engine or a, particularly a P220. Now what I do have is I've got a carburetor here from a P218. These carburetors look almost identical. Now I can't use my, my 318 with my P supposedly 218 because it's actually a P220. When I rebuilt it several years ago I installed a P220 camshaft and a P220 carburetor so the engine produces 20 horsepower instead of 18. But if you look in the, the carburetor here, that is the, the, the P218 carburetor, you see 205. 205 is the size of Venturi. Now what I want you to look at is I want you to notice how much smaller that opening is for the air compared to the opening for the P220. There is less air is needed to produce 18 horsepower than um, 20 horsepower. So that's why there's differences in carburetors. So one of the things that I oftentimes look at when I'm shopping for a P or a 420 with a P a B48G or a P220 uh, and I can't remember the numbers for the B48G off the top of my head. I've got them written down somewhere. Uh, that's one of the things I look at because it shows, okay, you know, if somebody's done some maintenance before, does it need some carb work, et cetera, et cetera, um, have they replaced the right parts? You know, certainly on this machine, it's encouraging um, that, that the carburetor is correct, et cetera, even though the engine is not correct. So something to look at um, and uh, so on and so forth. So hopefully you found that helpful, uh, something to look at when you go and shop for a 420 or a 318 for that matter.